Oh, oh my god, you look like a princess. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think you're just gonna have to buy all of them. <laughs> guys so in today's video as you guys see from the title i'm gonna be trying on dresses for our wedding i'm so excited to go dress shopping basically my mom and a close friend that i grew up with and my neighbor are all gonna be going there they mostly like grew up with me i made a pinterest board of like the wedding dresses that i'm going for that i'm gonna be looking for and this is kind of like info pictures of what i want to find i want more of like an off the shoulder type of thing and it's like floral stuff like that i really feel like that's like more flattering and it looks good on me i don't want anything like super showy i don't know if i want like a cut sleeve on my dress i also want like the top to be a little bit more tighter and like the rest like more flowy like a princess i'm really excited i've never tried any gown on like i don't know what i'm gonna look like i curled my hair because on the wedding day i'm planning to have my hair kind of like curled wavy not super curled but like wavy like this obviously it's not perfect but i try to do as best as i can because i probably will have somebody curling my hair and doing my makeup and all that stuff so i put a little bit of more lipstick on too. I didn't know what to wear. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Revolve and then I'm wearing these little like sweatpants. They're so comfy. I'm so excited. Hopefully we choose one today. I have like a little paper here and I wrote down some of the wedding dress stores that I want to go to and I booked appointments for all of them. I only booked two. So the one that we're going today is called Theory Bridal House. I'm definitely going to try to give you guys recommendations if I like the place, especially for those that are looking for wedding dresses. Like I just want to help you guys out because I didn't know where to start. I don't know any good stores here in Florida. Obviously, I've never gone wedding dress shopping So we're gonna be going to that store first and it's at 1 p.m. Tomorrow We're gonna be going to Bella Bridal Outlet and it is at 2 30 p.m. So today is Wednesday 13 and 2023 I'm so excited. <sighs> I wonder if I'm gonna cry because some people say that they get emotional but don't like super cry Um, my mom said that she's gonna cry <laughs> Okay, go stand. Look awkward. <laughs> <laughs> the details on this one because we also one is really pretty too you have the off the shoulder this one has a slit in it it's very subtle but it's mm -hmm. in there and then you've got the corset so we like this one yeah. okay. so the shoulders sweetheart neckline let's get started with these uh about four in the fitting room see what you're liking disliking then we'll kind of be able to go from there <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Do you like it? It's so pretty. Because it like, kind of matches with the skin tone. I love it. 10,000. I really like it at 8 out of 10. Yeah. I have to see the other one. <laughs> He's already crying, guys. <laughs> Everybody's crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you look like a princess. Pretty the first but the first one. one. No, literally. I like it, but the first one was just like iconic. It was like such a moment. No, the first one was just like iconic. Like she slayed. It was so pretty. This is kind of like the first one, but it's really pretty. Oh my god. It's like similar to the first one, but it has like more floral detail. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at the train. Oh my god. I just really like the train on it. It's a lot. Yeah. What do you rate it? 10. No, the first one and this one are slaying. I also really like the sleeves. Even without the sleeves, it's so pretty. Which one do you feel like more? Yeah. The first one is also really pretty. I like also when you get it like your size, it's gonna like fit more yeah. like here and it's like gonna cut the girlies up. This one's so pretty. And like from the back, like when you like turn back, like it's giving wedding. Mm -hmm. Like I see it. I love this one. <laughs> The 
This is really pretty too, the first one or the third one. Yeah, I went yesterday. Okay, how did that go? It went good, but I just didn't. It wasn't like I was 100% on, so I wanted to look at more. And yeah, I didn't sure. Here, so. so come on back. Let me show you what we're gonna be sitting. <laughs> what do you think of like this? Uh, you want to like do like a full, like a full white moment? You want to try it? Try it. It's giving glam. Yeah. You're like an amazing wedding dress. God, this is yeah, so, so pretty. pretty. Oh, really? oh my god. Oh, Emily. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Something a little different. Wait, stop. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Okay, I think you're just gonna have to buy all of them. <laughs> yeah, little outfit changes. Oh my gosh. I love this one. It's okay. so hard. It's so elegant. It's so elegant. Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> do you, do you? Oh my god. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of really pretty, sweetheart. So beautiful. So you like this better than the other ones you tried on? Even the simple one? Yeah. Okay. Something a little different. Period. Oh my god, that's actually so pretty. <gasps> oh my god, it looks so pretty. It's amazing, all of it. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, you really do. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, period. Turn eight. What do you think? This, this one's a little bit different. This one has like a like handkerchief the, skirt. I like how it's like that. Okay. I don't know how to that. I feel like it's very, not really like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, they're gonna start crying soon. <laughs> this one also has a little bit of that see through top. Are you okay with this one? Just this dress? Mm, yeah, I don't really or like Or we don't know yet. I don't really like the. The see through? Yeah. She found the dress! Yeah. <laughs> Guys, guess what? She found her dress! Yeah. She found her dress! Yeah. Woo! Only two days! She only found it! Yeah. She's gonna slay yeah. the day on her wedding. Bella Bridal Outlet, so you, try, you guys should definitely check it out. I definitely recommend. They have really good dresses and it's pretty good price, so... Period! Woo! been a couple days and I want to give like a little tip session on like wedding dress shopping if you're gonna go wedding dress shopping and then I also want to give like a rating on every dress that I tried on like just my thoughts on every single one of them because it's so hard to talk in the wedding dress store I just feel so awkward like I don't know I'm just like a really shy person so it was really hard to talk about like what I felt like about the dress I just want to talk about the two places that I went to and then how I found my dress and give some tips the first one that we went to was theory bridal house and this one is in Avalon Park, so it's in Florida. And it was like 40 minutes away from my house. I tried on like five dresses and I almost got the dress there, like almost. So I'm going to give you guys like a little story time because it was a little bit like, it's just a story. Starting off with the first dress. This was the first dress that I tried on. And as you guys can see, it has like a tan color underneath like the actual fabric with like the floral and stuff. And I honestly, I liked it at the moment. But then when I looked at the pictures, I wasn't like a big fan of it. I was really stuck on this dress though. Like I'm not even kidding. Me and my um, people that I was with were also like, this is the favorite dress. Like any dress that I tried on, I was like, no, the first one, like nothing beats in comparison to the first one. And like now I just don't like it at all. The front part, I just didn't really like the V on the front part. It was like a little bit too much. There was a little bit too much floral. But the one thing I was like really stuck on was the train. Like the flower on the train was so beautiful. Like I could not really compare it to any other dress because that one was just so beautiful. The second dress I tried on was honestly not my favorite whatsoever. I give this probably a zero. This dress, I loved the back of it. I loved how the straps were, but those are like detachable so you can change like the 
the design or whatever but i liked how it like matched the bottom part but to be honest the bottom part was just not my style like i kind of like more of a floral style the back was pretty even though it didn't have floral which i really liked third dress was similar to the first dress and low-key i really liked this at the moment too i was like oh my gosh this literally looks like the same one but i didn't like the v line at the front i really liked the floral though the back was really pretty too like i loved this train like really gorgeous the only thing i didn't like about the back like i literally look so stupid right here it was just too it looked like the front part i'm not gonna lie it literally looked like this was meant to be in the front but i feel like it was because of the clips like she tried to clip a bunch of clips on the back so that it would like fit on me oh my gosh this dress i was obsessed with this one this one was the one that i almost chose that i've been talking about and you guys can see like how excited i am about it and the front was gorgeous the floral everything was giving like the bella princess vibe that i was trying to go for because as a little kid like i was obsessed with that one princess character and i literally had a dress like her all the time little me would be screaming at me right now like would be so obsessed i'm still so obsessed with this dress like it makes me want to cry but i didn't go with it sadly because if i did i would have not been showing it to you guys right now it had glitter like sparkle all around it you can't really see because the lighting is bad but it looked so pretty the train was gorgeous in the back like the floral line at the very top of the back was gorgeous too everything about this dress was a 10 out of 10 i loved it just didn't go for it because i felt like i needed to go to different stores and try on different dresses like more dresses because i feel like i could have find like a cheaper deal this was a thousand eight hundred dollars and keep in mind you have to pay for alternations you have to pay for your veil and whatever else that you want to add like your shoes your whatever you're gonna get so i was like i don't know i want to like try to pick it up another day if i don't like any of the other dresses that i try on at different stores and they were just like trying to pressure me to buy it today and i told them i had another appointment the next day and that cost me money to book an appointment so they were like i can pay for the appointment we can just cover that with a dress and i was like mm, i don't know about that because i just didn't feel comfortable so i didn't really go with it it was also a thousand eight hundred and i was just not gonna go with that but this dress was really beautiful and i definitely recommend trying it on if you're gonna go to that store next dress i tried on i absolutely didn't like this dress like the bottom part is just not my style i thought i liked it and that's why i showed her like a idea of what i wanted and it was like kind of like this type of design too but it didn't have any floral on the bottom and i just it just didn't match me moving on to the next store i went to bella bridal outlet which is in pine castle florida and it's like a 33 minute drive this store i absolutely loved so much the lady over there felt made me feel so comfortable like trying on the dresses i can tell she was like excited for me i feel like i had more experience after the first dress store that's why i'm gonna give you guys some tips because i did something that was like not wrong but i just didn't feel comfortable and i just need to share it to you guys because i'm sure this would probably help someone out there because i was that person that needed help but i just didn't watch any tip videos so starting off with the first dress this dress we were stuck on for forever like i honestly think the reason why i like the first dress so much is because i try it on the first time i go in there like i feel like it just makes me so amazed that a woman can look this good like someone me can look so good with the, like a wedding dress like i've never tried a wedding dress ever and when i try it on for the first time in the store or whatever without trying any other dresses i'm like so obsessed with the dress so we were stuck on this one but we didn't choose this one i really liked the top part the only reason why i didn't choose this dress is because when i would raise my arm which i know i'm gonna hug my like everybody did you know i could not move my arm up like it was super tight and like i said like most of these off the shoulder little things i don't even know what they're called they're usually detachable this one was not detachable it was really tight on like my shoulder I just didn't like it i didn't feel comfortable and i was also thinking about the reception like the reception is where you dance you sing you just move around a lot and i would just not feel comfortable with it and i'm thinking about not getting a reception dress just because i don't want to like take my i don't want to take my dress off like i literally played this much took me this long not really that long to find the dress but like i'm obsessed with the dress i'm not gonna take it off like you know what i mean i feel like a princess with my dress so that's the reason why i didn't go with this dress but the back of it was so beautiful moving on to the second dress i tried on this was very tight and very different from whatever i was trying on i wanted to try something different because the first store i really didn't try any other type of designs i just tried like the one style with like the big gown whatever so i was like i'm gonna try something else and this one was like more tighter with the skin and 
and to be honest i really really like it but i didn't like it for the wedding for me like walking down the ceremony i feel like it has to be something more big so that's why i didn't go with this dress but i think this was really beautiful like look at the veil not the veil oh my god look at the train the train was so pretty like the floral it was gorgeous next dress i loved this dress so much um like i said i tried to go with like the off the shoulder this one has straps on it this was really beautiful the one thing i just didn't like there were, actually there was two things the first thing i didn't like was the top part so the top part was like see-through and i just don't like the see-through type of vibe it just doesn't feel make me feel comfortable like i said i thought it was really pretty because i felt like it made my like body look snatched i feel like i looked really pretty but a big factor of me i want to feel comfortable and this just does not make me feel comfortable and also the bottom part was way too big like i did not feel comfortable in this whatsoever it was so hard to walk in like think about walking in like a bunch of sand that's how uncomfortable and how hard it was to walk in it and i try to think about every situation that i'm in at the ceremony like if i'm walking down the aisle i want myself to be comfortable with walking down the aisle without make making me feel like i'm gonna fall this dress i love the floral was beautiful it wasn't like a huge train but i still loved it like it was really pretty it wasn't like too much floral but it was like just the right floral the only reason why i didn't choose this dress is because of the straps and like the v i just don't like the v i feel like with the dress but i still think i looked amazing in it i still loved it next dress was a little bit awkward with me around the like shoulders and arms because i obviously said that i wanted with like off the shoulder type like that one thing that hangs down there but they also had like a strap at the top so it just made me feel so uncomfortable and the lady said that most of the girls feel super uncomfortable with that thing on because there's two straps it just feels so weird so she took it off and i still didn't like it i just didn't like the front part and still looked really pretty it was just the right amount of floral so then i tried another dress and this one was gorgeous it was elegant it looked so beautiful but then again i wanted the floral i wanted the like wraps like off the shoulder it was just super simple super basic but then again i also saw this on pinterest and i fell in love with like the silk i don't even know what it's called but it was just so gorgeous and it didn't have like a crazy v line it still looked really good and even though it didn't have straps it looked so cute i just said no to the dress i wanted something more floral but anyways that was all of my thoughts on all the dresses i chose and i finally chose was the one it was at bella bridal outlet i only went to two and i'm so excited to show you guys the dress it's only going to be in january 19th so it's like a couple months from now three months four months it's almost october but i think by the time i upload this it's probably gonna be october the wedding is four months from now so if you guys want to see the dress that i chose make sure to subscribe and go follow my instagram because i'm obviously going to be doing pictures and also i'm going to be having a videographer film me so there's going to be a video up here of my wedding dress that i chose and i'm like so excited you guys should be excited because this dress is honestly so beautiful one tip that i would recommend is wearing something underneath when you are going to go try on dresses because the lady most of the times like the two places i went to did this i don't know about all the places because i only went to two so i can't really say anything to like all the places but for the most part i feel like the lady that is going to help you with trying on the dress is going to go in with you to the fitting room and she's going to see you like taking off your clothes and like putting on dresses and she's just helping you out but for some reason for me i was wearing a bodysuit on the first time that i went and i didn't have anything underneath and when i wear bodysuits like i don't wear anything underneath if it's just black i'm not gonna wear anything i just feel comfortable like that and i didn't realize that she was gonna be in the fitting room with me while i was trying on my dresses and apparently i was and long story short i was not wearing anything underneath like i was wearing obviously my underwear and my like nothing on top over here so i was just super uncomfortable the lady was like super quiet too anyways what i did was i wore a strapless bra and it's like a sticky bra I definitely recommend getting them from target or whatever it's just like a skin tone one so that it doesn't like super stick out when you try on the dresses and then i just wore like some white gym shorts underneath i didn't have anything else like they usually say to wear something that matches your skin tone like the short on tiktok that which is what i was doing like after the first time i went because i felt so uncomfortable i was like i need to like switch this up and like figure out what they actually do when they go on try dresses they usually say to wear something like your skin tone but i don't think that really mattered i just wore like white shorts and it was like fine because all the dresses i was trying on were white anything that makes you comfortable do it you know do what you want another thing i would say is to just try on dresses if you have like a second thought on it if you think that looks really good and you feel like you would see yourself at the ceremony with it then just wear it like put it on again ask for it don't be scared because at the end of the day you're the one buying it you're the one trying it on and it's your big day like you have to try on the dress and you have to buy the dress that you feel like you're going to be comfortable with that you're going to feel pretty with so i definitely recommend trying it on again asking for you to try it on again um if you're a shy person just go 
for it like i'm a pretty shy person and i felt super uncomfortable when i was trying on some of the dresses because the person at the first place was really quiet and it was just really awkward in there so but i was like i'm gonna like if i'm spending a big amount on my dresses i'm gonna ask for another try on like i'm gonna try it on again oh and i also recommend to try a bunch of different styles like, if you have one style that you really really like that you saw on pinterest and you really really like it don't only go with that because you could probably look better in different style dresses rather than the dress that you showed when you tried on so if you like like the more flowy look maybe you look good with like the more tighter ones and maybe you feel comfortable with that one so i definitely recommend trying a variety of dresses on to see what matches you best and what looks best on you because you never know like this is if this is the first time you're trying on wedding dresses you don't know like it's gonna be difficult to know what looks good on you it's like clothes like you don't know your styles like at first when you were a little kid and growing up you had to like try to get into a style that you felt comfortable with and that you felt confident in so just keep that in mind when you're going wedding dress shopping but anyways if you guys want to see the dress that i chose make sure to subscribe and go follow my instagram because i'm obviously going to get pictures of my dress and i'm so excited about it like i just want to show you guys dresses already but i don't want to show it to caleb and i know somebody would probably expose it it's the internet so i don't want to like get bad luck they say that it's bad luck or whatever but i just don't want to share it to him yet i literally have it at my neighbor's house because i don't want him to see it and we're not doing long distance anymore so he has to like just not see it somehow so i just left it at my neighbor's house and she's taking care of it and then i'm also going to get it alternated in november because obviously it doesn't fit on me and yeah hope this video helped you guys i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.